Blender versions and the status bar. I used to joke about Blender by saying it had the user interface we love to hate. That was in Blender 2.7 and before. In version 2.8, they made huge changes to the user interface. This was annoying to some of us who had already figured out the old way, because now we have to start all over again. However, after using Blender 2.8 or later, I came to see that the new user interface changes are well worth it. The 2.8 user interface is more like a typical graphical user interface, such as a word processor. If you are familiar with any other program on your computer, you will find more similarities in Blender now. Since it is free, I highly recommend you download the newest version available. If you tried 2.7 or older versions and were frustrated, give a newer version a try, and I think you will be less frustrated. Newer versions seem to come out all the time, but now that the big change is over, I find no important differences between 2.8, 2.9, 2.91, 2.93. They're all good, and probably the next ones to come. How do you know what version of Blender that you are using? The splash screen will tell you, but if you forgot to look at that, it is also displayed on the status bar. So let me spend some time talking about the status bar. If you look way down in the lower corner of the status bar, there's uh, the version of Blender. It's version 2.932 in my case. And over on the left of the status bar, there are some very interesting icons that tell you what the mouse will do if you press the left mouse button, if you press and drag it, if you press the the uh, uh, roll the scroll bar and so on. So there's some useful documentation down here that tells you dynamically uh, what the uh, the mouse does and that's really handy. And in the middle there's often other stuff but it goes it it sometimes disappears on me, especially when I upgrade to a new version. So let me show you. If you put your cursor on the status bar and you right-click it, it gives you the option to display uh, uh, several different things in the status bar. For example, the scene statistics are incredibly useful. It'll also let, let you uh, see how much memory you have. It will let you turn off that Blender version if you want to. The scene statistics are incredibly useful because it tells you uh, how many vertices, how many edges, how many faces, how many triangles that, that would turn into, even if they aren't triangles yet, and how many objects there are in your build. You might be surprised if you can read that, that it says that I have selected one of three objects. That's funny, I only thought I had one object. Blender counts the, uh, uh, the light source and the camera as uh, as objects, and so most of the time, if you're building something for OpenSim, you won't uh, care about the the light or the camera. And not only that, if you select part of your uh, of an object, he'll tell you you've selected four out of eight vertexes in this case, and four out of twelve edges, and one out of six faces. So the, the status bar has some uh, useful information down there, and I recommend you get used to checking it out.